And maybe you were scared you couldn't measure up, so you had to condemn us. I understand that. That's only natural. But the entire big bad adult world... The second half of season one is, uh, I would say, much more aggressive than the first half in terms of the kind of drama that we're that we're telling, the kind of places this, the characters find themselves in, the kind of relationships that you're going to see, and also... Was it really easier to blow up a train of innocent people than to face up to your own biggest fear? Which, let's face it, is life itself, isn't it? How characters on one side of the morality spectrum move to another side in an unexpected way. There are significant developments in the Adama family story in this season that that change a lot of the events and sort of your perceptions of of Adama Tamra. And, and who he is and and his relationship with Joseph and all that. Tamra! You can expect to see a rearranging of the puzzle pieces. The status of Greystone Industries will change dramatically. Tamra! Daniel's role vis-a-vis -vis Greystone Industries will change dramatically. The, the marriage will be affected. The relationship between Joseph and Daniel uh, we're going to bring those storylines back together in the second half in what I think is a fairly unexpected way. Hi there, Bonibus. Hello, Willow. One of the characters you're going to see slam into a brand new direction in terms of aggression, physicality, and a real taste for the war that's coming is uh, is is the character Lacey. It's just a, it's a completely new direction for that character. In the case of Polly Walker's character Clarice, people may think they kind of have a sense of her as being, you know, the, the likable villain, kind of like the Baltar of Caprica. You're really going to see the gloves come off of her too in the, in the second half of the season. So it's an opportunity to see a couple of really prominent female characters move into a, a very, again, aggressive and and dedicated mode for the sake of their respective points of view and their agendas. Look, Clarice sister. The leaders like action, not crazy plans that make you into a bouncer in some homemade heaven. Oh. Oh. Thank God's going to pick out the chosen ones when they die. Do you think you'd be safe? Do you want to find out right now?